Hi friends and welcome to Career Kul, the educational Guru Kul. We will finish, try to finish this video in 10 minutes. And we will also have timestamps so you can skip any part of the video and listen to what is interesting for you. The main motive of this is to understand the comparison of graduation degree for MBA. The data that we have taken is from IIM Rachi. They have given specifically freshers, how many they have taken from which degree, work experience from which degree. So we'll compare students who are taking BSc in graduation or who are doing BSc, MSc, Physics, BCom, BBA or BTech. We'll compare them one on types of roles, two freshers, which degree they are taking. Third, we'll compare them the cost and time they have spent to get at the same place okay let us start first most first most thing i would like to inform you that there is a difference between call cutoff like i am Ahmedabad says the call cutoff for them is 80 percentile that if you have 80 percentile marks sectional cutoffs and overall you can get a call and then there might be a final cutoff which might be different for different streams and different academics this can be different for uh, bsc and this can be different from B design. This can be different. Okay. So there you might get a call for 85 percentile if you have done maybe fashion design from B design from NID. And for the same uh, course in IAM, you might get B tech computer science might get a call at 99.9 percentile. But do remember that the industry for both like the industry which is there for fashion design and the industry which is there for IT, when they select an MBA, they might give competitive salaries. Academic diversity, I am Ahmedabad and I am Bangalore. If you look into their website, you will see that engineering students are nearly 75% engineering students. Out of them, 35% are IITs, 15% are NITs and 25% are NITs. Now, the point here to pay attention to is, like student who has got into an IIT and a student who has got into other college, regional college, they together are coming to IIM Ahmedabad. So students who are not getting into IIT, this is not the end of the world. Here you can see that 25% students from other colleges are at the same place where 35% people from IIT are. So this is to mention that. Now academic diversity, because 75% are from engineering, both of the IMs, they are looking for other graduate degrees. If you have good marks and 10, 12th and graduation, they are looking for that because there are so many types of industries and you need specific degree because that is the type of role you will get. Now coming to that, the type of role. If you have done MSc, BSc Mathematics, BSc Physics, there is a chance you might go into analytics. You can look into IM. Uh, Rachi student profile, you will find that you will go into analytics. This has higher salary, very high salary. If you have done BSc mathematics, there is a chance that you might go into finance. And otherwise, if you have done BBA, mostly you will go into customer trends. You will look into different customer aspects of it. But finance analytics, BSc level will be BSc maths or BSc physics. After that, BCom. After that, BTech. BTech will also go into uh, analytics and finance. Freshers, which degree freshers? Mostly the freshers are coming from BBA, are coming from BCom, and they're coming from BSc degree. Other than that, you don't have much degrees here for the starting. But now the freshers, again, you have spent nothing at your graduation degree. If you look at the cost for BSc, BCom, BB, if you have done from any college, you have maybe spent anywhere between 3 to 5 lakhs. 3 to 5 lakhs. And if you compare it to the BTEC student, he has spent 10-15 lakhs. Overall, it does not affect too much. You can just take this and do directly do MBA because there is a lot of scope for students who are freshers from these degrees. After BTEC, you will find less freshers, but BTEC from this uh, uh, graduation degree from these 
courses, you will find a lot of them. The last thing I would like to mention, if B.Tech is very high costing, whereas this is a very less costing, even after B.Sc. M.Sc. five years, if you are really interested in science, if you do not find a way to earn money, you can just switch here and still you would ha not have spent anything. I would like to give hope to students who are thinking this is very expensive, their loans and the amount of salary that you will get is minimum will be around 10 lakhs. You don't have to worry about this. Anything else that if I am missing here, mostly I have covered all the parts. Again, I would like to mention that here in IAM Rachi, IAM Rachi, IAM Rachi, very few students from IIT, very few students, but a lot of students from NIT, from VIT, from colleges like UIT Chandigarh, from IP University. These are the students who have done BTEC from these places. You can find them here also. And very few students from BTEC CS, very few students from BTEC CS. Mostly they are from mechanical, electrical, and civil. Electrical and civil. So this is a whole combination that if you are taking BTEC, electrical, ele civil here, you can also do BBA, BCom or BSc and you might land up at the same place if you are not getting IIT, NIT, VIT, top colleges or if it is not in your budget, do BSc, BBA, BCom, do very good CAT score of around 90-95 percentile and come to IIM Rachi also, you will get an admission and you will get a good job. So this was a graduation degree comparison for MBA. Thank you very much.